James Webb looked at Pluto, and everything changed. What should have been a frozen wasteland was moving. Light flickered where only darkness should exist. Heat escaped from ice that should have been silent for eternity. Pluto, the world we once declared dead, is breaking every law of physics. How can a frozen dwarf planet glow like it's alive? Whatever's happening on Pluto isn't just strange. It's rewriting everything we thought we knew about the solar system. When Clyde Tombaugh discovered Pluto in 1930, it wasn't triumph that followed. It was confusion. A tiny, dim speck drifting far beyond Neptune. A world so cold and distant that sunlight took six hours to reach it. For generations, Pluto was a mystery. Then, in 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft finally arrived after a nine-year journey. What it saw changed everything. Glaciers of nitrogen, mountains of ice, and a soft blue haze stretching hundreds of kilometers high. But something about that haze didn't make sense. The atmosphere was far colder than physics allowed, as if something invisible was draining away its heat. For years, scientists searched for answers. And then, in 2024, the James Webb Space Telescope turned its golden mirrors toward that same icy world and discovered a truth Pluto had been hiding for decades. The James Webb Space Telescope, orbiting a million miles from Earth, carries an instrument called the Mid-Infrared Instrument. In mid-2023, astronomer Tanguy Bertrand and his team used it to target Pluto and its moon, Charon. For the first time, Webb could separate their faint heat signatures. What it saw was staggering. Pluto was glowing in infrared light, not from its surface, but from its atmosphere. That thin layer of gas, once thought to be passive, was alive with motion and energy. At the University of California, scientist Shi Zhang had once proposed an idea most dismissed as impossible, that Pluto's haze, made of tiny hydrocarbon particles, could absorb sunlight and re-emit it as mid-infrared radiation cooling the entire planet faster than expected. Webb's data proved it true. Pluto wasn't just reflecting sunlight. It was managing its own temperature through a process no one had ever seen. Even more shocking, Webb detected methane escaping into space, drifting toward Charon, where solar radiation turned it into reddish organic matter. That explained the mysterious crimson caps at Charon's poles. Two frozen worlds, exchanging chemistry across the void. Pluto wasn't dead. It was interacting, adapting, evolving in silence. But just when scientists thought they understood it, Pluto revealed another secret. Buried inside Webb's infrared data were subtle fluctuations, temperature changes no model could explain. At first, they seemed random. Then, a pattern began to appear. Some researchers proposed micrometeor impacts or shifts in sunlight, but others believed something far more extraordinary that Pluto's haze might be alive in cycles, thickening, collapsing, and rebuilding over time like a heartbeat in slow motion. If true, Pluto could have the first known particle-driven weather system, not powered by wind or storms, but by chemistry and sunlight. Yet time to study it was running out. The James Webb Space Telescope schedule is crowded. Observation windows for outer planets are rare, and funding agencies wanted results exoplanets, galaxies, not the coldest world we know. A follow-up mission from the Southwest Research Institute faced delays. But even without fresh data, Pluto's mystery wouldn't fade, because Webb's discovery hinted at something much larger. Other worlds, Saturn's moon Titan, Neptune's moon Triton, also have hazy nitrogen atmospheres with strange temperature anomalies. Could they too be ruled by the same invisible cooling process? If Pluto's haze can regulate climate, it means the universe's most fragile worlds might not be dying. They might be sustaining themselves in ways we've never imagined. At five billion kilometers away, Pluto has taught us something humbling. Even the smallest worlds refuse to fit inside our equations. If you believe exploration is about more than just discovery, if it's about redefining what's possible, subscribe to Astrion and keep watching the universe unfold.
Pluto's story is just beginning. As Webb continues its extended mission, scientists plan to track Pluto over the coming years, watching how its haze changes with each solar season. Does it vanish and rebuild? Does it respond to the sun's faint light like a living skin of chemistry? NASA's engineers are already designing a New Horizons 2, a spacecraft that wouldn't just pass by Pluto, but stay in orbit. Equipped with modern spectrometers, it could dive through the haze, measure heat directly, and maybe even land on the icy plains of Sputnik Planitia, where glaciers creep like frozen rivers. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency is studying similar haze processes on Triton and comparing results to Webb's Pluto data. If the mechanism is universal, it changes everything. For decades, we've assumed that life and warmth belong near stars. But what if the opposite is true? What if the cold, dark worlds at the edge of solar systems, shrouded in haze and hydrocarbon dust, are capable of balancing their own heat, nurturing chemistry that could one day lead to life? And here's the most haunting twist of all. Four billion years ago, before oxygen painted Earth's skies blue, our planet may have looked just like Pluto, wrapped in haze, glowing faintly orange, cooling itself beneath a young sun. By studying Pluto, we may be glimpsing our own past, and perhaps the future of planets orbiting other stars. Each discovery becomes more than data. It's a mirror, a reminder that the universe's smallest worlds can hold the biggest truths. At the farthest edge of sunlight, Pluto drifts on, half in shadow, half in light. For decades, we believed it was dead. Now we know better. It's not a relic. It's a reminder that the universe doesn't obey us, that even in the coldest, darkest corners of creation, motion still stirs. The haze above Pluto's surface glows softly, scattering sunlight that took six hours to arrive. And in that faint blue glow, the story of our solar system quietly continues. If Pluto can defy our understanding, what other secrets are waiting in the dark? How many more worlds are whispering to us just beyond the reach of our eyes? Sometimes it takes the smallest planet to remind us of the largest truth. That wonder has no boundary and discovery never ends. If this journey through Pluto's hidden world moved you, subscribe to Astrion. Let's keep exploring the universe, one secret at a time.